pitied me so much, you know. I was so pathetic that they were like, oh, this guy is going to get fucked out there, you know. <laughs> so they wanted to do something nice for me, you know. They just felt so bad for me. They pitied me so much. They wanted to do something nice for me. They gave me a bottle of water, a Chrome Hearts Mineral Water. Hey. As if I needed more water! As if I needed more water! It's flooding outside! Some some just her. Uh, for 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 Ah, ah, si ha, tak tengok ah, 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 tak tengok untuk orang yang segregation. Yeah. So uh aku refer bangsa aku. Yes, yes. Because Prakash is not here today so you have to sit in Prakash place mm. lah. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah. Uh, Assalamualaikum so. warga pendengar-pendengar. Saya masih ada batuk. <laughs> Kau masa masih, masih berbatuk. Saya masih ada batuk. Tapi Dan kau pergi Korea tak ada makan ubat ke ubat Korea. Aku apa? aku tak makan ubat Korea. Korean, Korean ginseng ke apa. Tapi dekat I went to a ginseng market tu. And then you didn't eat anything? No, I didn't buy anything. But I did go to a ginseng market. Wait, what's a ginseng market, dude? It's like it's a market place. The whole ginseng, town, uh? the whole town no, sells like, ginseng. How, how is it like? Like you know, if you walk into a ginseng market, is it like a medicine shop or? No, it's just an entire uh, market ta, ta, selling ginseng. Satu, uh. satu bandar tu. It's like a small city. It's like Taipan kind of size. Tapi jual every shop sells ginseng. Huh. It's like herbal y- mushrooms, cool, eh? herbal herbal it's roots, cool, yeah. herbal ada yang macam bag macam kayu. It looks like it just looks like kayu. I don't know. <laughs> I, I pernah drink what? Levita dengan ginseng. Itu biasa. Kat Malaysia yeah. banyak. Eh, banyak. The gold uh-huh. Levita. Yes. yes. Mm. Itu ginseng ke ginger? Ginseng. 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 Oh. ginseng. I, I don't think I've ever had ginseng. Actually, life. what what is the health benefits of ginseng? Ada banyak. I can't Cuma name it to you. Ada banyak. Can you please? <laughs> Ada banyak. Ada banyak. <laughs> ginseng. What is the health benefits of ginseng? Probably ginseng. blood circulation maybe. Chong Kwan Jang Korea. Ah, huh, wow! That is exactly the title. Okay, uh, well, reduce stress. Really, yeah, reduce Tadi, stress. Tadi apa juga tu? Increase energy. What kind of energy? Ber? Tenaga batin, tenaga batin. But I think these kind of things are so vague, right? Wait, cognitive wait, wait, function, function, bro. Twenty-one men and sixty-nine women. Very specific. <laughs> Siapa anti okay, okay. Treatment of oh. erectile dysfunction Okay right. Kalau tak belum boleh lagi, berdiri Belum lagi so, tapi Kita tahu kenapa kau kerak Kau kita tempat-tempat Kau tengok dia ni ha. Eh kau 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 Dah pergi Aku pergi tapi aku tak beli ya Aku survey Untuk masa depan Kau tak tahu So we must do bang. Kita tahu. Okay, uh, Paul, uh, some house rules. Eh, hey, hey, hey. never put your mic away from your mouth. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Be always near to it. Right. This is uh, you know, I know you're not used to this kind of cylinder looking things near your mouth. I've but never used to it. Yeah, but for, but for but for this yeah, yeah, but for this entire podcast, right. this uh, dick looking thing needs to mm. be near your mouth. I'm a bit I'm a bit too used to it. I say I'm literally <laughs> kissing it every single time. Yeah. That's how close right. I am. Really. Baru got dapat the <laughs> radio <laughs> the radio voice, you know. Selamat pagi you know. Malaysia. Selamat selamat. Tapi flu prevention ah? Huh? Oh. Flu prevention right. you should have huh? you should have taken I, some I don't have flu, I've cough. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, anyways, uh For your info kepada sesiapa yang tengah tengok episod ni and wondering where is Prakash. Ini bukan Prakash ya. Eh? Ini bukan Prakash. <laughs> okay. I don't think anything like him. Yes. I don't think you have to put that yes. disclaimer there. I don't uh, nothing like him. Ini nama dia Paul, uh, yes. aka Ice Cube of Malaysia. Tak ada lah. Apa benda sih? Ma- ma- ice Tea or Ice Cube? Ice Tea. Tukar-tukar do nickname dia. Uh, tah, some at some angle looks like Kanye West little brother. Nah man, you got to stop this Kanye West thing. I always told this story but How the Kanye West thing came around is so stupid, dude. <laughs> Every damn time about this story, that is the wildest part. I have this story. Tapi please tell the story please now. Tell the story. Podcast. Now podcast. Podcast. Tell the story. Now. I think I've said it a few times, right? So I was playing futsal in Melbourne. Ah. So we went out, and then uh, we went out just to like 
play futsal after futsal we're like okay let's go bro let's makan right uh-huh. it's like okay jom ma- makan so, it, okay, do you cool. say like let's makan in melbourne or let's go eat yeah because i play in malaysian guys oh so, like, wow okay like it's like malaysian guys futsal cl- uh, team right so it's like okay jom I, ha- i had to say it because you said you were in melbourne but you said let's go makan so i was mm. like mm, okay yeah. So it's just I mean, making sure, making sure. It, just because I'm in another country doesn't mean I, I don't think, speak Malay. I think actually before all that, a little bit of context. <laughs> I think we should introduce who he is first. Uh, no, no, no. Let him tell the story. We'll introduce him later. Okay. So I mean, that's, you, that's how we keep the the yeah. mystique. This is the wildest story because Kanye is. It's the weirdest position I've been. Oh, okay. Kinky. Like in a situation <laughs> where someone tries telling you you're celebrity, and you're like, no, dude, I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay? but it's the weirdest part. Like I don't look anything like him. But then it's like it's a weird spot. So, so somebody really went up to you and said you look like Kanye West. So let me finish this in story Melbourne, and you'll realize what's going to happen. Okay, okay. It's super awkward. So, so me after futsal, okay, I'm like, okay, let's go to eat, uh. right? So we, I said, okay, dude, the walk to the place is pretty far. Uh. So I was like, you know what? There's like we're looking for McDonald's, and someone told me like, hey, it's pretty close. Uh. It's like, she's pretty far. So let's just take an Uber, right? Okay. So. Yeah, then we walked actually to check while thinking how the distance is, right? Halfway through, we called the Uber, right? So we like walk all the way. It's like, dude, it's too far, man. So futsal mm-hmm. ended like at 11. So, okay. So like at 11. It's at pretty night. late at night already. Late late okay, so okay. We're walking down, we wait for this Uber, right? So me and my friend, we now we get into this car, right? And this Chinese dude, right? From mainland China is the one who's the driver of this. He's driving the Uber, okay. Uber, right? So he sits in the front seat. Uh. I get in and I... And I sit on the left and then my friend sit at the back, right? Yeah. So he decided to go. So he stop. He stops the car, opens the door, and I get in. He just stares at me, like stares at me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like <laughs> okay. He stares. He doesn't even check the Uber name. He just stares at me, like, and I'm like, what's what going on, dude? Like, you know, like that. Okay, I sat in the car. What's up with this guy? Yeah. Right. Then he looks at. Looks. He's gonna drive, right? He stops again. He looks at me. And then he does this mainline Chinese accent, right? It's like, yeah, I would like to. Yeah. I love. I love to hear. It. Yeah, he goes to me like, "You look familiar." <laughs> and then I was like, "No, man, I don't think we ever met. There's no way I would have remembered your voice, right?" And then he goes, "No," nope. and then he goes on driving. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So this is where it gets really awkward, right? He starts turning on the radio. Okay. His Spotify playlist. While he's driving, yeah. he's typing on his phone. And he starts playing a Kanye West song, <laughs> and this is where it gets really awkward. Right? And then this is where it gets really awkward. This motherfucker turns and looks at me every time he plays that Kanye song. Okay, okay. And he's smiling at me like, "Yo, this you or this guy?" Okay, okay. All right, and he's smiling. At How me. old is this Chinese dude? I think he's like in his like late thirties, early forties. All right, okay. Right? So we're sitting in this car, and then he goes, like he plays this song. I is. He just purposely types this Kanye song in. Yeah. And then I'm sitting, I didn't want to make eye contact, but you know when you don't make eye contact and you realize like, someone is just fucking looking at you, <laughs> but you know he's looking yeah, at you, but yeah, you don't yeah. want to make yeah, that eye contact because he gets really damn awkward. <laughs> and then he plays the next Kanye song. I was like, this guy, bro. So how many Kanye songs do you reach your so destination? Went, so it's like two and a half Kanye songs. Okay. And then he didn't want to make that comment, right? <laughs> And then my friend at the back is laughing because he knows what exactly this guy is trying to do, right? And he makes this comment while in the car. You know this song? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, obviously I know this song, right? And I was like, yeah, man, I know this song. Then he goes, good. <laughs> like, what is it got to do with? Okay, that's like, okay, cool. And then we reach the destination. Right? I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of this car, dude. Like, I'm done with this guy. And I'm done with my friend at the back, just losing his shit. <laughs> and my friend is texting me, right? <laughs> he's like, and he's texting me like, Kanye, how far are we from the destination? I'm like, to cut this shit out. We need to cut this shit out. <laughs> we arrive at the destination. He turns at me. I get out of the car. I was like, thank you. Yeah, you look like Kanye West. <laughs> and then the shit, I shut the door and I just left. <laughs> That's the awkwardest <laughs> position on the whole ride. Dude. They, they <laughs> ask for a photo or not? <laughs> nah, man. Nah, nah, to nah, everyone nah. watching, eh, korang tengok muka Paul. Eh. Korang rasa dia nampak macam Kanye West tak? Uh, ah, yeah. Cuba komen nah, kat bawah. Nah, nah, so, lah, so, nah, Mr. Nah. so, Mr. Not Kanye West, who are you exactly? Uh, Paul this is Xavier. how we... Paul Xavier. Yes. Okay. That's it. So, uh, for those of you tak tahu siapa Paul, Paul je lah partner... Uh, business partner to uh, Hans. Let's say business partner. Don't yeah, don't yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah, just I, say I'm his partner. That, okay, that, so a little bit of a uh, sus thing. Dari, ah. dari Made Curate, alright. Yeah. So they are the guys who did Made Curate. 
dia orang adalah orang gila yang buat giveaway 2019 kat sneaker lah tu yes. yang sampai 250 ringgit punya pas, uh, kasut 250 ribu 250 ribu, ribu ringgit ha, 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 worth of ha, shoes okay. Okay, gila babi lah kalau 250 ringgit buat aku okay ha, ha, eh, tak, 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 tak. aku lupa add the ribu behind but yeah Chair. Oh, whoa. Okay, we need to take a commercial break. Be right, ba- be right back. Be right back. We interrupt this podcast for a sponsored segment. Apparently, do we get better chairs now or what? Oh no, this is, this has always been this chair, man. Actually, I need to fucking change this chair, dude. I was almost swinging back and forth like it's just so awkward to do a podcast like this. Can get another one there? Oh, you can lock it. Oh shit. That's it. One of them is the eject- ejector seat button. Be careful. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it was raining today. Oh, okay. Now, now it's perfect. Now it's perfect, dude. I was hoping it was raining today. You win the sepak. Eh, hey, and the sepak the gempak siapa kasut tu? Fuck! I keep pushing this thing down. <coughs> uh, it's always on the right. Left. Sorry, it's always on the left. Okay, that, oh, that lock. They can lock ah. Bayang sendiri tak ada. Bayang tu. How are you, Zizi? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You came in with a shocking look. Look at a smile on his face. So what? Somebody just gave me a Vitra chair. What's that mean? You know Vitra, the brand? No, who's Vitra? Bro, it's like super expensive. You know Vitra, the right? Leather chair thing. No, no. I wish it was a leather chair. But, but I mean... Oh, Zizi, pull it up. It's still expensive. Lah. It's a blue color Vitra. Oh my God, that's expensive. What the hell? So it's... The bottom uh, one, right? The bottom left. It's a, it's a plastic chair. Oh, the plastic... Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I took your drink away. Okay. You can have it. Yeah, coke for everyone. Woo! Do you get? Hey, coke you can put back your drink, man. And I didn't even drink it yet. No, hey, no, no. Sure? Swing it, do you, pussy. You want? No, no. I mean, like, I can have a coke. I, I, I feel bad taking his bunabuk, man. Because Andrew. No, it's actually mine. Oh, it's your bunabuk. The Oh, the automated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Calories. Coca Cola Classic. Ena dan menyegarkan. Yeah. Fuck it's good to know that you're Malay. You still can read Malay, huh? After all these years in Melbourne, bro. Semalam dia lepak dengan mama kan. One of the funniest <laughs> things ever, bro. The first time he lepak with mama of PKL, kan. Right? Mama was just sitting down, and then Paul was just like, randomly speaking Malay. Mama just, dia boleh cakap Melayu. I get, I get that expression. All the time. I get that expression all the time when the person meets you for the first time, right? Then they go like, they give you that look that they can't avoid. They can't avoid expressing yeah, how yeah. what they're thinking their head. Yeah. Like this morning, I was like, "I'm gonna get breakfast, right?" <laughs> so they go to the store. Uh, we have nasi lemak. We have this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I have to say something. Do you right. get this all the time when you tell people that you are actually Indian instead of African American? Yeah, I actually do get that when I arrive at the airport all the time. Uh. Yeah, cause like seriously, you look like a black dude, like yeah, dude. a cool I, American black dude. Yeah, I always get that. Like people don't think I'm local, but. I'm local as hell. Dude. I think he looks more like a black person, right? If he uh, when he doesn't have facial hair, that's why I say he looks like Ice T or something like, that, like a rapper. He doesn't you know? look like Ice T. No, like, wh- can you stop finding all this? <laughs> yeah, because I've seen from the nineties, just dumping. I've like seen that. Paul without the facial hair. He looks like a black person without facial hair. <laughs> hey, pull pull up Ice T. Ice T. Ice no T rapper. Ice T. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. I, I, ice cube, I ice don't cube. look like Ice Cube, dude. I don't look like Ice Cube. Can, can you make the angry Ice Cube face? Can you just can you, you just, just stop making me say I don't look like Ice Cube? No, I don't look like ice cube. no, just once. Can you just make the angry Ice Cube face? I'm not gonna do that face. Because just once. I don't look like him. No, we will never know unless you make the face. <laughs> Hey, I don't look like look, him. If you've never oh, made it, look, if you if you are so confident you don't look like him, why don't you make the face yeah, right now? Yeah. I'm not going to do the thing. <laughs> he's scared. Puppet. He's scared that he will look, like look, look like him. No, no. Seriously, it's taken as a compliment. You do look like him at certain angles. I'm not kidding. Oh, I'm just here for the, just to give you yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. For real, for real. I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway okay, okay. So like you you, always, you were asking what's the topic for today. I think we should talk about Mate Curate. All right. Yeah, so I, I don't think we really covered what Mate mm. Curate is because this fella here, dia duduk kat dalam podcast ni Tapi dia tak berapa cerita Pasal make curate Sebab memang tu gaya make curate pun 
Tapi so, sebelum tu, sebelum aku, tu, aa. sebelum tu kita kena fit buat check. segment ha fit check sebab aku tak aku tak tahu nak pergi dia nak transition into the fit check from the mid tu macam mana. Uh, sebab dia tengah pakai mid curate t-shirt ha. boleh transition. So tak, tapi sebelum tu let's do a fit check mengikut tugutan biasa ha. which is from Prakash punya side yang kini oh. dia ambil oleh Pra, eh, Prakash pula Paul lah start rampi lah semua. You know you know I just also remember it because from his Kanye West sorry. I guess all all the Indian people in our podcast you always get mistaken for other celebrities yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Kevin J. Kevin J. No, not you, Prakash. Prakash, Prakash. Prakash always. Prakash always gets people. I literally went to an event with Prakash that day, <laughs> and a girl went up to him. Hey, you're Kevin J, right? And she was like, you know, kind of flirting with him, and he is like, he told me lah, it's kind of like a turn off lah when someone says he looks like Kevin J. Yeah. yeah, man. So okay, yeah. so sahabat ku Paul Bernard Xavier, apa kau fit check kau sekarang? Somebody reminds you of someone. <laughs> apa kau fit check kau sekarang? Ah, uh, cepat. So what do you want to know? What fit from the top to the bottom? So I got a mid curate T-shirt. Yeah. Um. That that is I have to say that's a very well made T-shirt. Yeah, it is. Um, and I wasn't even the first to get it. It's okay because you're and in Melbourne, bro. Yeah, when I came back, I was like, somebody was asking me in the DM like, hey, bro. Where do I get this T-shirt? I'm like, I'm trying to figure the same shit out. <laughs> he is so you know mad. He is not the first person to get it. But by the time I would have shipped it to you, you would have been in Malaysia already. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough, fair enough. And I couldn't stop wearing it. I think I, I've been watching and re-wearing it again and again. So I kind of really like the T-shirt. Yeah, it's good. Uh, my pants, um, I'm wearing Rick Owens. Rick, 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 Rick. Yeah, um, the most comfiest pants out there. Okay. And then the most GR shoe in the world the right now. The most GR shoe in the world everywhere <laughs> I go, bro. Some guy is staring at me because he's wearing the same damn thing. It's the Travis fragments, but it's the most comfy thing to travel in. You gotta lift Bullshit it up and show. You gotta, li- you gotta lift it up I, and show it, bro. You gotta I lift it up fucking show it. hate that you oh, actually. Yeah. You have to lift up the shoe. Never mind. You lift it up first. We'll talk about this damn you shoe. Take off the shoe. Show it, bro. He literally ah, told me last there week. We go. Ah, there we go. In case all the visual this happening uh, listeners does not know how it looks like, I don't know how you don't know that, but. He literally told me last week that this is the most comfiest shoe to travel in. Bullshit. Uh, I travel every time in my Fragment One, but it's not comfy. It's because that's just the work shoe. I don't know. I just feel like what's up with this? With this mid curate guys are uh, traveling and working with Fragment shoes. Uh. it's a thing. It's man. a mindset, bro. It's a mindset, bro. Mamba mentality, huh? but it's Boy. the <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, Mamba mentality, but not Mamba. <laughs> can, can I be on the mid curate thing and uh, have a Fragment shoe as well? You can, man. Do I do I get that if I work yeah, in mid A size curate? nine should be. We have a size nine, maybe. No, I, I don't know. At this point, <laughs> you just have to stop calling me Ice Cube, and I'll probably get you a. <laughs> no, I ra- no, 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 no. Nothing is worth that. I would rather call you Ice Cube. Man, I just you doing this Ice Cube, Chris Paul. <laughs> you, no, no, Chris Paul never. Yeah, you did this vote thing on your Instagram. <laughs> Two yeah. years ago. Okay, okay. So I'm my turn. I'm wearing Junje Junje sweater. I uh, love that sweater. Can you just can you just stand up and just show it off just a little bit? Oh, look at that. It's double layered, bro. Look at that. It looks like it's double layered, but it's not. It's a beautiful Junje sweater. Right, right, right. And then the funniest thing is, uh, I just came back from Korea, and this guy is wearing a Korean brand just like that. And then I'm wearing a uh, Uniqlo cargo pants right. and uh, Kaya No 14. I'm the comfiest shoe. Huh? I don't know what. Color is this? The comfiest. It, it looks bluish, purplish, whatever. But it's fire. Uh, this colorway is fire. So um, I think A6 Kayano 14 is this year's silhouette it until is. end of the year. Yeah, Then it'll be something good. else. Yeah, I think this is good. Mm. How about you, Hans? As for me, I am wearing uh, what, am I, what hat am I wearing? Supreme Timberland. Supreme Timberland. Uh, yeah lah, they look what cap. No, pakai. I just just take take the first cap. No, I I remember it just Amber now. But really forgot. Uh, Chrome Heart baru dari Korea. Ah. This comes with a story. Okay, this let's come story about later. But okay, after the okay, this, okay. This comes with a with a cerita. Uh, Nike tech pack. This is sedap. Shirt. This is lawa. It is. I've never heard of the tech pack line before, mm, but right. it is very expensive. I, yeah, yeah, I was surprised, is. but I was like. Oh, ni memang lawa sedap well, lah. For those of you who don't really know, but there is a lot of prints actually happening on this particular mm. jersey, and to achieve this print is actually very hard to achieve. Tapi it has to be printed. Tapi um, mahal lo. It has to be like sort of sewn in. Yeah. So that's why it's expensive. Is that lima ratus ringgit lo? Well, I think it's money well spent. It's, I think it's worth it too. But I was taken aback because I've never paid that much for a Nike baju before. Mm. You know. 
uh, seluar Palm Angels macam biasa macam I've, I've macam macam biasa. biasa I've worn these pants before Ooh, the podcast lah bro how many episodes are we in already lah bro uh, Stokin undefeated I think undefeated so Amar Mania Atris nice man I actually kind of like this Amar Mania you kind of like this shoe yeah. this was a shoe of the year last year man yeah I kind of like it it's kind of cool I wear them a lot because they, they are super comfy. Okay, okay. Okay. So what's the story with this? Uh... Okay, you are ready, you, you ready for this? I shall yeah, tell you the yeah. story of my time in Korea. Okay, yeah, let's let's hear it. Okay, so... How was Korea? It's a bit of a long story. Uh, but I then mean, I'll be okay. saving this for the podcast. But people like... I think podcast... Uh, Paul has heard because, you know, he was the first... He picked me up from the airport. La, so I had to tell the story. Uh. I picked him up from the airport. Mm. Mm. Can you believe that? The foreigner picked me up from the airport. <laughs> foreigner. <laughs> I still picked you up, bro. Yeah. Can you cut this shit up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Korea panas, oh. it's summer. Ah, oh. uh. it's like kau keluar, kau keluar hotel kau je, kau terus berpeluh. Dia lagi panas dari Malaysia ke sekarang. Lagi panas. No, it's more humid. It's more oh. humid. Dia memang peluh. That you is know? not nice to travel. So to, tiba-tiba man. one of the days, it was a Monday. It was uh, last Monday. Mm. Dia apa ni? Dia hujan. Okay. Hujan lebat gila. Uh-huh. So I was like, man, I I really want to go to this one area in Korea, in Korea called Up Gujong. Okay. Up Gujong is tempat orang kaya. Lah. Okay. It's like there is more Teslas and G wagons, macam macam IV lah. So you know Teslas and G wagons okay. are everywhere. The air over there, memang kau keluar station je, macam ini udara orang kaya ni. Lah. <laughs> the air smells like perfume, bro. The place smells know. like perfume, bro. Okay. My, my guy gives yeah. me examples, right? It's really wild yeah. to think of. So, it was like, ni memang tempat orang kaya lah. Right. And then, it was raining. Okay. So, uh, I was with someone, but uh, she didn't want to walk in the in the rain, the dress and all that, right? She didn't want to walk. Yeah, she was wearing a dress, not so the hujan. So, she was like, okay, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to dip. And I was like, I did. I wanted to go back as well, sebab hujan je lebat lah. Mm. But, I needed to make content. I needed to go to this place, to this area that day. I okay, needed to, okay. to make the recording. So, so this girl like, must be dampest with you. Uh. No, no, no. She was like, fuck, fuck, fuck do whatever you want to do, right? <laughs> okay, so, okay. Oh, oh, so okay. I was like, okay. It's pretty intense. I brought my, <laughs> brought my camera out and all that. I was just vlogging in the rain and all that. Uh, Were people staring at you? Kind, no, I was using my phone, so it was not that bad. Okay. But then, bro, the rain just got heavier and heavier and I had this small little umbrella that I bought in Daiso. Oh, shit. Did not help. I aku buka aja, boom, the wind just blew it. I was like, oh, this is going to break. But thank God I had a, I had a raincoat. Mm. So a raincoat. Yeah, I was like, it was a windbreaker lah. But windbreaker functions the raincoat as well, like right? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it does. Uh, so I was by the time I wanted to go to Chrome Hearts, that was my goal. Oh, okay. Uh, and Chrome Hearts jauh how? So I had to pass by all these other shops and all that. So I made a few stops here. I went to one shop called Works Out, and I was like, did content there. Works Out, huh? Uh, it, it's con- Works Out is like their Dover Street Market. They oh. sell a lot of brands. It sounds like a Chinese guy mm. trying to explain he went to the gym. <laughs> I went to works out. <laughs> yeah. I got Are you Kanye West? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other day, cut this story about uh. this part, right? They are, they are passed by a mixed rice shop, right? Please sanitizer your hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, there's another one. It's not sanitizer. It's. Um, Satanize. 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 <laughs> Please satanize. satanize your hand. That was going that was quite viral on, on what was Facebook. It? What was that? Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Works out. Yeah. So it's like I it was going to all this. Ah, you went to works like, out. I went to works out. Uh-huh. I went to the car hut. Oh car hut. I went to the car hut. Uh, but so car store there nice, right? No, them. <laughs> I don't think Do you nice. know why, why it's so nice? Why? Apparently, um Kahat W I P I'm Chinese ma. Ah. <laughs> Kahat W I P huh? Oh. The number one selling place in the world is actually in Korea. Well, I didn't want to. No, but then everyone was to see. Legi- I didn't, oh, now I, it's I, I barely saw Kahat. Everyone was to see. But I think it's also a different spending market there, though. Yeah, they're mm. rich as fuck. So that's why they want to like VM the store yeah. in a certain way. So the I was walking through all that just to get to Chrome Hearts. And the thing, the thing about Chrome Hearts is it's uh, if you are familiar with Chrome Hearts, ninety mm. percent of the jewelry. I would say 95 percent of the jewelry. I'm I'm not talking about apparel. I'm talking about the jewelry je, tak ada resale value. Mm. So if you buy it second hand, it will always be cheaper. Is that true? Understand. Yeah. Yep. Everything. Oh, the jewelry. Most full, of them. Full jewelry. Like. Yeah, that's why I say only jewelry. I'm not talking about apparel. I'm talking, yeah. why, I'm not talking eh? about hype. I'm not talking about because I thought it's hype as shit. You because know, it's like. easy. You can just walk into the store and get it. Okay. You know, maybe there's some limited collapse here and there. That's why I say 90%. Yeah, there's no right, Goros. Right, right. It's, yeah. it's not some Goros yeah, shit. Yeah, so la, you okay. can always go to Grail 
and then just like buy it for like maybe like 30% off the market price maybe okay. twice twice kind of thing right so there's really no point to go into Chrome Hearts to buy the jewelry uh, unless kau memang nak nak, nak merasa lah, you but know? somebody has to do it uh, in order to, to, it. to to see it on grill yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> so <laughs> by the time i got to Captain Chrome Hearts It was raining so hard, bro. Okay. It was raining cats and dogs, bro. I was like, I, by the time I stepped into the shop, the shop looks nice, by the way. Like yeah. I said, it's a very affluent neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember, tempat orang kaya tau. By the time I stepped into the shop, I was dripping wet, like, oh, like, 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 I looked pathetic. I was, it was horrible, bro. Memang teruk ah. And then when I got inside, <laughs> it's like all this, the shop was like wooden and all this yeah. leather furniture in lawa gila, kan? Right. So I look, but I was like, oh man, I feel pathetic as fuck. You know, they like, you? the girl that dipped had the right idea. You know, yeah. it's like because she was like, I'm not gonna go out into this rich neighborhood look wet. Like, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I guess I, I learned my lesson there. Yeah. So the first thing I saw in the shop when I got into Kilm Hearts, beautiful shop by the way. First thing I saw was this really pretty girl. Oh. Really pretty girl. I'm I'm talking like I'm I'm talking about maybe nine out of ten at her like worst. Like Lisa level lah. Nine out of ten at her worst. Oh, oh. Lisa, you know? really. Blackpink, uh, Blackpink, Blackpink, Blackpink. Blackpink. All right. I knew that. Yeah. 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 Bro, I don't blame you, bro. You rapper from America. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get Coca Cola to the face. Conversation, bro. right? Yeah. <laughs> so, let me sign a couple of albums. Yeah. Later. Later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. So this girl, so this girl was really pretty, but then she was also surrounded by like four guys, maybe ah. really good-looking guys. Okay. Two bodyguards and one translator. So obviously from there she's not local lah. Okay. So um but she's Korean. She I looks Korean so. or okay, she, okay. She looked Chinese okay. but I don't want to assume. Okay. So uh cuz I did, oh, I, you do the accent but you're not assuming. No, she was speaking English. Okay. She was speaking mm, English. Yeah. So uh she didn't work out lah. No, she had American <laughs> English. She had American American English, okay? Okay. 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 She, so she, how the hell do you tell like that? Yeah, yeah, true, true. So her and her posse was looking at all the display windows. Uh. So I couldn't look at anything for sale. So I was literally just standing in the corner, still dripping wet. By the way, oh. just like, oh, when's it? When's it my turn to look at the? When's it my turn to look at the the this overpriced jewelry kind of shit? Yeah? Okay. Uh, this is my theory. Ah, new theory or tak kuah? Probably salah, tapi aku rasa mungkin betul. Uh, I think she was the sugar baby of a rich person, and this sugar baby was treating her sugar babies. Ah, yeah. She was blundering all these guys' stuff at Chrome Hearts. Ini macam melody punya rumah. Ah, tak aku tak gaya dia memang nampak macam tu doh. So I was like, okay, I was waiting for this girl to finish, you know, her her, her posse to 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 finish looking at the window. And her posse is just one girl with four guys. Yeah, and I was literally, I was literally in the corner dripping dripping wet. Yeah. At one point, the staff had to come out and mop around me. <laughs> you know how pathetic that look. The staff had to take out a mop and just mop a hand circle. You know, I was like, I was like, you know, like you know, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, when dead people had the outline, right? Yeah, it was just like a hand shape outline, just like on the mop, it's like the, the, the trail on it. I was like, I was like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> I would have felt so awkward yeah. if somebody's mopping yeah. around me. And the pretty girl looked at. Me is like who is this hobo that just walked in? Like he yeah, doubtful. Yeah. He, he he obviously does not belong in this furniture. You know, like in, among the furniture. Right? So I was just like, man, you know, just kind of embarrassing. You know. So right. I this eventually I got the chance to look at the stuff. I was like, you know what? It's kind of overpriced. But I came to Korea for this thing. I didn't really spend on myself. I was like, I want to buy one thing. I just want to feel that 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 feeling of buying one Chrome Hearts thing. And it was this thing. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know what it's called. No, no. I went to old price store. No. I wanted to buy some old price shit. I don't know what. No, I don't know what. No, but there's a silver lining to not knowing what's it called. Okay. The silver lining is I cannot find it second hand, so I don't know whether how much I overpaid. You know? Ah. ah. So maybe it's I some limited shit. I don't think there's a silver lah. lining. Maybe no, it's silver. Maybe. It's a silver lining because I I cannot find it on resale market. Well, the silver lining might not be a silver lining. Here's yeah. the worst case scenario. It's not cool. It's not for nobody wants it. That's uh, why it's not uh, maybe, available. Maybe, but I think it's cool. So <laughs> that's the important part. It's my money. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So there's no silver lining. No, the silver lining is no. I said the silver lining is not available was, elsewhere. No, it was a good silver lining to me, but yeah, obviously yeah. it wasn't a silver lining to you guys because you guys are pessimistic assholes. <laughs> but uh, okay, I was about to pay for the items, right? Yeah, yeah. Women, the woman and her posse beat me to it. Beat me to the cashier. Okay, and I have to wait again. So I had to wait for the fish paying. So her total came up to 50 million Korean won, which is bersamaan dengan 200,000 ringgit. 
Weh And then be- Apa hal tu? Sebab a Chrome Hearts flannel shirt Is about 20,000 ringgit And she bought five Hell you know? no One for herself And like two Who two pays 20,000 ringgit For a flannel shirt we? Dude, yeah. Chrome Hearts price On clothing yeah. right? Is next level The dude. fuck is it Made out of silver? No it's, it's got This thing But All this over. Is, As the buttons Oh, so much, eh? so, oh. The dagger so the dagger So the dagger. collar And all that So I was like I was like Oh man this is horrible right? So The woman Ends up paying In cash 200,000 in cash And they all have to count so it So they all had to count And I had to stand there Still dripping water <laughs> <by the way. laughs> Damn bro So they was like Oh it's like, They looked at me Them sedih huh? They're like Oh why don't you sit Why don't you take a yeah, seat Yeah sir? yeah 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 Chrome Hearts Punya furniture Is probably the price of my car okay? Yeah it's crazy I was dripping I did not want to sit On this leather <laughs> chair You know when they were like Oh no we insist We insist so I was like okay I'll just sit down I took out my phone Selfie with the chair lah. Oh. <laughs> I'm never going to get A chance to sit on this chair again Yeah eh? And then when the girl when the girl was done, I paid. It was time for me to leave. They were like sorry for them. And then okay, this was the this was the kicker of it lah. When it was time for me to leave, the shopkeeper opened the door for me, and it was like a monsoon outside. Oh shit! And then they, uh, I was, you know I put back on my uh, my windbreaker, you know I looked at my flimsy umbrella that was not going to work, and they were like, oh don't you have a better umbrella? And I was like, no. Imagine they're judging you on yeah. your umbrella. Don't you have like a better umbrella? <laughs> no, no. It's like no. And then like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. No, them sad. No, they're panicking. It's like they look dead. They, they were they pitied me so much. You know, I was so pathetic that they were like, oh, this guy is gonna get fucked out there. You know, <laughs> so they wanted to do something nice for me. You know, they just felt so bad for me. They pitied me so much. They wanted to do something nice for me. They gave me a bottle of water, a Chrome Hearts mineral water. <laughs> Hey. As if I needed more water. As if I needed more water. It's flooding outside. I did not need more water. Crazy, bro. I did not need. Hey, bro, your life is in shambles. It's a mineral water. They, they just, they just wanted to make me. I was so sad and pathetic. They don't know what else to give. They right? wanted to do, just do something is, nice is for it, me. Hey, sorry, sorry, my guy. Hey, chill, ah. <laughs> they wanted to do something nice for me. They gave me a much bottle of mineral water, bro. Pour <laughs> yourself. It's probably all the more water they keep wiping yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> Pour inside the bottle. Give him. Uh. Yeah, I was like, uh, here's your water bag, you pleb. Uh, yeah. Hey, but you didn't say how much was your rantai. Uh. You want to tell people not? A, a pop, it's a, well, if a flannel shirt's twenty thousand ringgit, about two thousand six hundred ringgit, two thousand five, two thousand five hundred, two thousand six hundred. That's okay. Yeah, the was, the jewelry is not no that comment. expensive. Okay, the most expensive. It's very expensive to me. Really? Yeah. Since so the guy who's wearing a Abang, tengok jam sikit dia sengaja tak tunjuk ni. Ah, kau nak belas balik? Ah, ambik kau. So, you guys deal with shoes way more expensive than this, uh, and you're telling him a silver uh, so, wear is yeah. So, so expensive? by the by the way, uh, okay. Wait, I, maybe maybe because there's ve- yeah. intrinsic value in the shoes yeah, 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 and not yeah. in this. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But by the way, <laughs> when, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. when you buy Chrome Hearts ni items. They don't give you a chain, by the way. They just give you a pendant. Oh damn! Bro. So I had to go to some uh, random store. I went to a, a bundle or? shop and bought a chain for eight dollars <laughs> to pair with your two thousand ringgit pendant. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, so it doesn't look. I like the how practical you are about this. It's yeah? good. It's good. No, usually I go to Dragon Silver, bro. Ah, can I? Can I? Ah, bang! You go there, works out, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, huh? I yeah, can say. Yeah, I, I, I just laugh around. This <laughs> I'm not going to make any comments about it. So, uh, Korea was a lot of work, uh, a lot of logging, a lot of work. Uh, so, so, how many episodes do you think you'll be uploading on the I Korea have trip? 10. 10 episodes? 10. I'm looking forward to it. But though. I'm going to edit everything first and then I'm going to upload one one, it uh. daily. Have you okay. been to Korea? Yeah, a few times. He got sponsored. We want to go to Korea. Right. Like, one of the trip was business class. To Korea, Look at this Spot. flex guy. Thank, Holy thank you, Nike. Shit. I think about economy, bro. So yeah. there's this thing. Um, so Nike has this thing. If they are sending you anywhere, if the flight is above six hours, it's yeah. automatic upgrade to business class. I think that's a corporate. Standard, yeah, it's right? quite. It's quite standard. It's quite corporate. Standard. Anything above six hours is that our standard? Yes. Okay. I yes. had to confirm with the boss, the make correct boss. Yes, it is. How's oh, our standard? Oh, nice. Because I have to always end carry law shit. Ah, okay, okay, understand. <laughs> So let's uh, talk about Mid Curate. What do you want, to know? So, want to know? Yeah. You know, I've been friends with you guys for so long, right? Right. I don't really know the history of how you guys started. Right. Right. I don't really know like the intimate dealings 
Right. We can talk about some stories because you've told me some amazing stories. Yeah. Maybe you can leave out the names and yeah. and whatnot, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's just start from the beginning. How did Mid Curate start? Uh, I think we went to Mel. I went to Melbourne. Right. So you guys you. were both studying in Melbourne, right? Yeah. 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 So that's how you all met each yeah. other, right? Yeah. I went to Melbourne on a holiday, I think, and I just it became a work trip. Now everything becomes a work trip nowadays. Yeah. But then uh, I think this we, is after studying, lah. Yeah. You were back 20, in Malaysia already? 2019, 2019. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2019, 2018, 2019. I wouldn't say 2019. Yeah. I think a year before 2018, yeah. I guess. Like, that's where it started. Mm. So we just wanted to, I think we just wanted, first, I think the general idea evolved way f- further from this. But the general idea was, hey, you know, there's a lot of rare shoes in the world and we have access to, we are able to get some rare shoes, but no one really shares the rare shoes or pictures of the rare shoes, that kind yep, of thing. Yep. So, It just started from there. I remember it starting from yeah. there. I, I think if you take a step back, right? So that's like the one when we created the brand, yeah. right? But I think the the branding behind it was like back in the day, right? Like coming into like the new Yeezy era and everything. You realize like people started losing taste in stuff, but more just following what? Oh, just following a trend and yeah, hype. Like mm. You know, like the bandwagon. Like, so, so like, like, you know, like, The idea of like just being very different about things and trying mm. to do different things or grails level, right? And the idea of rare has always been misused. I feel. Oh yeah, because, all the time. Because it's just a point to just because you don't get access to it doesn't mean it's rare, right? So you you actually we had a conversation last week yeah. um, off the record, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. said something about rare and like real rare and access rare. Yeah, that's two right. different things. Yeah, so mm-hmm. maybe you want to explain on that. Right. So access rare and really rare are to me are two different things. Yeah. Because sometimes it's just about access. Yeah, the shoe isn't rare. The it's just the access rare. is hard. Exactly. Because yeah. like now, let's say in Malaysia, right? We have to go through a lot to get the pair in. And there's so many different circumstances, right? Tax, shipping, mm. payment. Because you don't even get to send friends and family payment. You have to do PayPal. Like the invoice, that's another four percent on top. Then you're shipping. Then you're ten percent tax when it arrives, right? Mm, mm. So all these things becomes <laughs> leche, yeah, what, like, like because you want to trust the guy. How am I going to send this kind of money? And your currency is like times four, four point right? four. Yeah, four point four now, right? Four point four five actually. So the idea was like it's access has always been tough. Mm. Now it's a different story. Every store has a release tier one, tier zero release. You're getting all these Nike drops, all these crazy drops, right? But this didn't happen like five, six years ago. Nope. Right? Yeah. Nobody could get that access. So people thought things were rare just because it's not in the country. Mm. So that's why platforms like all these resale platforms, like online websites we can bid and buy, mm. has been good because it shows you the access around the world yep. rather than just in your country, right? Yep, betul. So to me, access rare is just because it's hard to get access to. Yeah, but the quantity is not. Yep. Okay. Like a Chicago off white Jordan one. Yeah. They tak gay. This is sad apa eh. So you're paying seven thousand US dollars for a shoe which is hard access. And what I mean by hard access is also legit checking and stuff to get a mm. really legit pair access with the receipt. It's hard access. Mm. But that doesn't mean you don't see the pair around. Yeah. Right. So that is access rare, not a rare sneaker. Yeah. Agreed. It's an access rare sneaker. And I'm talking, right? This is not to the person who doesn't collect shoes. I'm talking to the people who collect shoes. Because the person who doesn't collect shoes, everything is pretty much rare. Because mm. you don't know where to start. Like, you watch TV and you see a rapper wearing a shoe and you go like, how do I get those, bro? Right? Like, how do I get those? So that is different, right? So I think access rare, quantities are always made. Yeah, yeah. Dior Jordan agreed, 1, agreed. access rare. Right. Yeah, so yeah. You, that is actually eight thousand five hundred pairs is not actually rare per se, right? Yeah, because eventually uh, you'll come around. Back then, a uh, uh, a quick strike would be even lesser than that amount. Yep. Right. Yep. So nowadays, quick strike is not really quick strike anymore. It's just mm. quick buck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, a the, hyper where's strike. Where's the bedum tish got? Ah, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. So uh, a hyper strike is it used to be what two thousand five hundred pairs? Yeah, 
Yeah, around that. I think there's been less as well. A hyper strike used to be 500 to 2,500 around quick strike that. was like 500 below, I think. A quick strike used to be in the thousands, but yeah. not yeah. until 8,500 <laughs> pairs. But yeah. like what you said, Dior was 8,500 pairs, right? Yeah. So, I, yeah. So, you, you're talking about access, right? Because trying to get it mm. and trying to... But then, if let's say I were to put out, hey, I'm paying 40,000, mm. ring it, get me a pair, somebody's going to get you a pair. Yeah. So they will go through that point just to get you the pet. That means you have money, you can... You can get it. You can get it. Yeah. And then there's rare, rare. Real rare. Yeah, like then there's stuff. Even I'm talking like even release shoes, mm. like in certain sizes, are almost impossible to find. Name, name one common rare, like real rare shoe. Like people know about it, but it's okay, let me give impossible you to get how it. how access is GR, mm. and I'll tell you how the access is stuff, like rare, right? So let's say the Ali Ali May shoes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They stop at ten point five men because mm-hmm. it's women sizing. Yep. And then there's eleven men, twelve men, thirteen men, which come in promo pairs for athletes. Okay. So now you're talking about how do I get it? It's not like it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the only person you see are like athletes wearing, it, and then you're like, dude, how do you get that? That's rare. That's okay. Rare to come by because there might be a few quantities. But that's literally also really rare. Because it's a women's release, right? So that's why it's only until US 10.5. And this is, I'm comparing to the release, right? So yep. you're looking at 300 US dollars mm. shoes. But then you're looking at a size 13, which is going to cost you like 2,000 US dollars. <coughs> so it's a tricky standpoint. So I feel that people misunderstand the concept. Yeah. So for a concept of real rare rare, what is a real rare rare shoe? For the listeners to to at least get a picture of what is all the weight ones with the bag ah that kind of that, like that, yeah so yeah. can you name one like for example um I don't know like un- 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 where, where, un- where undefeated we... force I don't I don't know so so, so, like, so, <laughs> undefe- so let me put this they are they are like promo samples yeah and then they are samples of the samples right. Samples of the samples. Yeah. So, like what? First round samples, second ada, round samples. Contohnya ada yang one of one, ada yang one of none. Ah. Yeah. So like certain things happen. What in the world is one of none, which was never meant to be in production? Kasut yang tak sepatutnya buat lah. Oh, so, just bought for fun je lah. Yeah, so like, oh, not a shoe that actually never even came out to the market because the designer could have kept it. Okay. So he designed something and he goes like, this is the initial design, but then they didn't go through with it and he just kept it. So some and back in the day, they even had shoes which is one sided. They only mm. kept the sample. The sample only came back one side, not even a pair. Yeah. Only yeah. this what so there's a lot of fragment samples that people haven't seen. Which are one sided. Okay. You can see it on Instagram. There's certain pages who have posted it. Mm. And then it's only one side and you're like, man. Right? Mm, mm, mm. So it tells his story. So stuff like that sometimes is pretty rare. But I think the rarest out there are normally like the look see sample. Mm. So it's after the design process they go through. The first pair that they get back. Yeah. based on all the design works that they have done. So you see there's always like yeah. a tag on the shoe mm-hmm. that says look-see sample. Kasut, they namakan look-see but kasut tu is made for you to look and see. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> betul lah, betul lah. That's the idea. <laughs> behind bila because, benda tu keluar dari computer. So I guess... Sebab this, kau pun design kasut kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so benda tu bila kau punya computer, yeah. ah, when it goes from the computer thing to a physical yeah. thing for you to look and see, ha, yeah. kau tu nama dia look-see sample. So I think this is a process before the salesman sample. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so right? dalam yeah. minit sebelah tu lah. But yes, yes, we have some samples in my office which are not meant to be shown. NDA, NDA. Yeah, you guys will see it end of the year, but not now, okay? Yeah, so stuff like that, I think like you can see the process because you're not doing shoes. Mm. You can see the process of how the first one comes. Mm-hmm. That's it, mm-hmm. right? Then you look at it. And then so I think stuff like that becomes rare. Okay. But then there's another mix to it, right? Just because it's rare doesn't mean it's expensive. Right. Doesn't mean people put values out there like, oh my God, this must Yeah, be- so that that is what I want to ask. Like, For example, right, you said that there's one of none. Mm. Right. And it's a designer who just went and fiddle with the design and benda tu keluar kan. And then, how do you put a value on it? Number one. Number two is, if you're selling it to someone who doesn't know about this, like, I do not know who this designer is. How do you actually value the shoe? Exactly. So, right? Yeah. So, I'll give you a perfect example, right? Like a Jordan 1 mm. is sought after by many because why? It's not like a sporting shoe. 
it is a casual shoe. Mm. People now wear Jordan 1s and they wear out, they go out, they do things in Jordan 1, right? End of the day to me, all these shoes are personal valuation. I don't think this are fixed value that you can put out there in the market and say this is the value of the shoe, this is what you got to pay. It's just that what is the next man willing to pay? Willing buyer, willing seller. Mm. Coming to go to you. So yeah. let's say when I get offered something, right? I always tell the people that I'm paying to, this is what I look at it at. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not disagreeing with you, but if you think X amount of price, I don't see it. Yeah. But there were times where certain shoes were cheaper than what I was willing to pay. So I was out there being like, man, I will buy the shoe in a second. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because I see the value in the shoe because it's a lot of ties, right? For you, like, let's say, right? If I put a Jordan 17 sample, one of one, mm. you wouldn't care. You'd be like, dude, I wouldn't even pay 250 bucks for it. <laughs> you get what I mean? <laughs> Right, because it's a John Seventeen. Yeah, and then if you get like a Puma Sweet sample, and you're like, yeah, whatever, life goes on, right? <laughs> you, you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like people give you a Fila sample, you're gonna be like, dude, I'm not gonna pay thousand dollars for this. But you, out of your mind, you give me for free, I probably won't even take it. So, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, I really think it's like a personal valuation. I think anything that has to do with a hobby, I always come down to personal valuation, like. Like I just think this is such a volatile market, mm. like in any hobby situation, right? Watches or cars or whatever. Yep. All these are aftermarket values. Mm, 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 mm. So it's all personally up to what you're willing to pay and how crazy mm. you want to get. Offer. Okay. <laughs> so in my personal experience, so basically you are the one setting the prices, or how how do you set the prices? So let's say if I were to be in a setting where I need to buy a certain shoe, which yep. is rare. Someone comes up to me, right? So let's say the person says, "I want fifteen thousand dollars for it, or ten thousand dollars for it." You're like, "Oh man, that's a lot of money." Okay. So the one thing you can do is to compare similar models in that. Okay. Okay. Right. And then the next thing you got to look at is how often will you come by across it? Like a Jordan One collab, you could probably come by two, three times, or four times. There's quantities out there. Kau kau jual kau beli jumpa balik ya, betul? And then there are certain shoes you're like, I don't know when I'll see it again. So how much do I value it? Drop ah, drop because, money Because right, you have to consider a lot of things, right? When you're hunting for shoes, <laughs> right? This is the thing I don't understand about people. Sometimes they're not willing to pay the extra hundred, two hundred dollars, but they're willing to spend months and weeks and looking into yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm talking like time and time. Yeah. But again, that's also the journey, right? Of yep. looking for stuff. So at the end of the day, you want to find the right thing at the right price. So it's a lot of valuation that comes in to see, is it really worth it? Okay. But then again, I can understand that. Yeah. There's also the this Asian market from China who are like, "Yep, I'll buy it." Why? Because economical standards are very high there, right? Mm, so status. It, let's say you have two million dollars. You're trying to collect sneakers, right? Fifteen thousand dollars from that two million dollars that you put a budget. Let's just get it done and over it. Check off the list. So it's the people that just want to check off the list are sometimes the one driving these prices up. I, I get it, but if it's so damn rare, nobody else knows what shoe that is. Yeah. Right. So if it's a status thing, you're wearing it, and nobody knows what you're wearing. Yeah. So that's why I think it comes down to a personal thing, you know. Okay. Kobli apa ko suka? So I guess there are some collectors who are really like that, and then there are some who are you know they want validation from people lah. Yeah, and it's very simple because I I put this in my logic right when I do my hobbies. If you are crazy about something, mm. there's one guy out there who's exactly like you. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Even you have the wildest hobbies, right? Oh, yeah. Like you see all sure these people. Got like, someone. There's someone yeah. out there would appreciate the same product as you. Yeah. And and what how this comes to is like layers of things, right? Mm. So the people with more money mm. and people with higher, like better financial standards, right? It starts with the commercial. Everything starts with GRs. Okay. Right, everything starts with GR because you start getting GR shoes, <laughs> then you get into the collab shoes. I don't think that's the case nowadays, right? Everyone's uh, it, mm. everyone's into yeah. Everyone would start nowadays. Everyone starts off big, like oh, I'll, because they start I want off, their off white. You they know? start off yeah. with the pair that they see everyone wear because they don't know any other pairs. The, yeah, they want the hype, the expensive, and then after a while, we're like, you know what? Actually, GRs are not bad. No, but the truth is right. The truth is, every sneakerhead that I've met, this is me personally, right. They had the purest moment is before they became a sneakerhead. Because I guess you're talking about pure sneakerhead. No, 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 like the person who haven't started, right? Haven't oh, started collecting, mm. right? They would go to the Nike store and be like, "Man, that shoe on the shelf, that's 
fire. That's honest opinion. Just yeah, yeah, just yeah. looking at the yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not being like talk read about the media and all this. True, 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 true. Pure lah, pure lah. Yeah, like I brought my uncle once, and he goes like, "Man, that shoe is like really, really fire." I was like, "Yeah, dude, whatever." But okay, <laughs> but he was like loving it. <laughs> no, no, but it, it wasn't cool, even, cool no, story. No, 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 but it wasn't really even a cool shoe. But he was like, uh, "Yeah, whatever, like, uncle." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, cool," but. That's his purest moment. Yeah, he's yeah, sneaker yeah. Because he's not a sneakerhead. Like he's not. There's no other factors making him make his choice. Because now, right, social media, mm. you are forced to view what you want to view. Mm. Like they are making you think. What they're you feeding want to view. it they're to feeding you. They're feeding it to you so that you think a certain way. You like certain things. Yeah. And that's why everybody now likes the same things. Yeah, we were talking about this last week. Right. Right. So, like, uh, I mentioned. Um, streetwear started out being about all of us wanting to be different. Yep. Right back then, everyone was suit and tie. Everyone, you know, goes to work with leather shoes. And then how streetwear come about is, it's clothing's from the street, normal yeah. people, but we want to be different from everyone else. Right. You want, yeah. Right? So it's a more acquired taste. And over the years, the cool, what was the niche, the cool has become the common. Yeah. And that's what everyone is trying to be. It's it's no longer trying to be different. Now I'm buying to be part of that group. Yeah. Right. For more. Yeah, because mm. in your head, right, you are still thinking it's that niche. Yeah. If yeah. You're yeah. yeah. That this is your buy into that no, niche. But no longer. I think for for us, like, okay, I would include myself in the older generation, yeah, right? Right. 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 Yes, maybe I will still think that way. Agreed. But nowadays, I think the kids are like. If I do not wear or buy this particular brand or shoe, I will not be part of that group, and that is what is happening now. And guess what? Where's the exposure of the group? It's all social media, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like what the artists are wearing now, right? You get so personal to athletes, to artists, mm. from the time they wake up. Yeah, they they know what they're doing. You are yeah. doing. You are as personal as their friend. Yeah. Because right, not only that, you can send a message. Directly to that person, mm. and that person might read that. Yeah, yeah, true. So it's insane that how personal we have become to this circle. Of yeah, it's crazy. We do. It's crazy. So and and the exact thing I come back to it's it it drives me crazy. People spend so much money to look exactly the same as each other is just something like a Travis wild. one low fragment. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, I have to agree. Uh, <laughs> I want. I still want that shoe, though, uh, Yeah, it looks fire, like, I still actually. want that shoe. It looks it fire. Is, it looks actually, you need the only Travis I like is the lows, uh. The lows, the, the lows rest. But what, what do you think about all these like new colorways coming out? Uh, like the reverse, black one's kind of cool. Reverse yeah. mocha la, then triple black la, The that. black one's kind of cool. Really? I just think that as if you pull up the black one, uh, of course, it's Nikola. They work cover it, shop, Yeah, ada. Uh, aku rasa ada. Uh, uh, but, but the thing is, right? <laughs> in my my. Humble opinion about this movement, right? Mm. The, the like triple black pushing, triple black. pushing products is, is I, I. This is what I personally think, mm. right? I think the black fragment, huh? The black one. Oh no! Oh, that the fragment. That fragment is a low black space. Space bar. Eh. Eh. Uh, yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. Pergi je lah, IG kau gang. Yeah, that's pre fire. Come on, that's nice. You know what I'll do? I will paint. I will paint all the white uh, stitching, stitching black, and then wear to school. I would paint. I would paint it the like okay. Lakers colors so that it becomes like the Jordan Six Lakers. You mention not bad. Eh, pakai pakai school lah. Look, look. I just think you can't hit an all black shoe. Or you can't hit an all white shoe. True lah. Just true an la. all black shoe or all white shoe. Like it, it's just a thing. Like. Nila pas kepis lah. The pass. The pass. You paint all the stitching the, the, black. The, I don't kena, know the rules now. But the merit. The rule was that I was high school. Uh, uh. He memang kau tak boleh logo besar besar. Oh, betul tak? Betul tak? Betul tak? Dulu tak sekolah aku lenjan je sial. Uh, lenjan je. Di merit lah, tapi kau panggil ya bapa aku kalau kau ada masalah. Aku tak dulu sistem di merit. Bapa aku yang beli. Aku yang beli. Tapi jadi kau yang beli. Bapa aku dah suruh pilih. I need this one. You know, last time, talking about school shoes, right? Remember yeah. last time the Converse they had the red line that lepas. Ah yes, uh, yes, right? yes. And then you pakai the the what oh, kiwi eh? Kiwi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kapu, 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 kapu. So kapu, kapu, kasut. And that's why North Star yeah. was such a big hit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they didn't have that red lining. Aku pakai B first. 
Apa tu? Bata Bata. Oh, okay, Bata punya okay. in-house brand. In-house Be brand first. eh. Okay, okay, so you back back to the topic like how did you get into this? Like like this whole you know like it's actually a, a rabbit hole lah, I rasa because the exposure right is like every time trying to find more on like the story of a shoe then someone tells you that's like actually it origin oh, from this no i think my main question here is like um wh- a lot of people do ask like hey this paula how the hell do you know all these people right? right so i'm i'm pretty sure there's there's many years of building rapport you know connections yeah. you know but how did you get into this this you you get what i'm saying like okay, to be honest what's right, the story the, here the number one thing right i think is just to me i think the conversation always started because mm. of how passionate you are about the product kalau kau sejati ah kalau passion kau sejati like like when i used to buy from collectors right i would have a full on conversation mm. not going hey, pm how much i see jenis jenis cakap banyak bodoh yeah so i like really because i want to know what is the reason I always have this thought, though, like if somebody held the shoe for like 10 years. Why you want to sell it? No, why you held it for so long? Uh. Like you must really love it. But what, where did that come from, right? And then I used to be like, okay, cool. You know what? Like I'll, I'll have a chat. And then when that person builds a relationship with you, right? And then you're like, okay, if you ever want to like you know, move that, I'm willing to buy it. Mm. And I used to have this little clause with collectors. So what I do, right? So my personal collection... I used to be like, look, I'll buy the shoes from you, but if I ever move it, I'll sell it to you for the price that you sell me to. Wow. So th- to show you that I'm not in it just to sell the shoe, I really want the shoe. So if I had reached a point where I, I need to sell it. Sell it back to you. For the same exact price. Yeah, no matter w- w- where it is. Yeah. And, okay. and they used to be like, man, you're crazy, dude. They used to be like, really, you'll do this deal? I was like, you can put it on paper if you want, but... I really just want the shoes. Wow. So I used to, used to go down and like, and really enjoy the product. And I think how I got into this is just me just being crazy about the product. And I'm going to tell you, I was crazy about the product. Like I did everything that Sneakhead used to do. I used to line up for shoes for five days, two days. Five days. I, yeah. That's how we met. Five days. Yes. That's, that's how we met. Five days. Five days, dude. Five uh, days straight. I, I joined on the third day. I was, yeah, days. I, was, I was lining up for Moon Rocks, dude. Five Easy, days. bro. Easy Moon Rock, bro. Yeah, in the dead of winter, bro. In the dead of winter in Melbourne, dude. Crazy. So, what I'm trying to say Sejati. is, that, like, the relationship only grows when you are passionate about the product. So you bring that energy to someone else. Okay. And that person sees in you, and then you have a conversation. Aku dah kenal Paul tujuh tahun siya lo. What the fuck? Yeah, and that leads to another. So, so how did this move to a business? So, so just right. people wondering, you know, you have clients all over the world, you know. Some notable ones. Can I yeah. mention some? No, of them? no, no, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Some very notable ones, you know, NBA players, superstar celebrities, yeah. and all that. How did this became what it is today? I just think it started off because number one, I wear that size range. Ah, uh, Paul, pakai size tiga belas. You have to be. Wow. Like, I wear size thirteen, fourteen, so it's a size range. And everyone wants this, and you you've been collecting this kind of shoes, and so, they want. Yeah. And trust me, like. It's not okay. How I put this, it I wouldn't call it like it's honestly a passion project rather than just a monetary business. Like it's a system of me getting what I want or what we want, while it's like a trade system of things that works. Mm. If you get what I mean, yeah. I wouldn't call it like I'm starting a resale store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I mean because yeah. it still involves a lot of conversations. Until today, the people that I sell or move or trade stuff to. I personally have the conversation rather than just ah buy sell okay done buy bro done. No matter the shoe is two hundred fifty bucks, or the shoe I'm giving away for free, or the shoe I'm selling at whatever price. Mm. So that thing. So I think it became like how crazy I was. So I, the craziness of the part would be literally like the Colette Jordan ones, mm. Mm. right? Oh, sorry, aku tengok bangau tu bang kat luar ni. Babi sial mama ni. <laughs> ada bangau tu. Kat mana sih ada bangau? Bangang. Ada dua orang bangau tu. Kau bangang sial. Mana ni kau bangang sial. No, talking about your collect, uh, collect Jordan ones. Yes. Have you seen what you had to see? Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy where it flew? In which direction? Aku tak puas lagi. Tapi tak apa. Nanti, nanti aku... Kau nak bagi dia waste ke? Nanti aku tegur balik. Nanti aku tegur balik. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Can you not even name one of your customers, your clients? Not customers. I wouldn't say customers. I wouldn't say clients. Kawan, kawan. Like friends. Okay. I classify these people as my friend. They're not clients. I wouldn't like customer. There's no. It's really a friendship. You really like, know. Sometimes like, I text them, dude. Like, yeah. Just to talk like shit out of. I jump my FIFA. Because, I jump my FIFA. Okay. Yeah. So all this kind of stuff, like, like I'll, I'll give one scenario. Like. I heard Paul's pretty good at FIFA. Eh? Just so no, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I heard, not I'm not. I, I heard. I'm not sure whether he's good at it. I'm just but I know toxic. he really likes it. Uh. I know. Oh, I'm pretty toxic at it. I'm um, pretty toxic at it. Yeah. He's the type, he's uh, the type to send the DM after that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, get get good noob. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard FCHD got trashed lah by Paul. But how good is FCHD? We want to put this on camera. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Next week I bring the scores. This is freaking tell all one. I we all we got to bring Hafiz and then. I mean, what's the what's the purpose of having a podcast if you don't like you know book up? I, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I just uh, okay. No, so I was, uh, I was Hafiz also, is not here to defend himself. I was about to mention that. another thing. Uh, uh, Korea related, but then I forgot what, what the si what we were saying before this. We're talking about Colette. No, Colette Jordan. Uh, kita, 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 you don't treat them as customers. You don't yeah. treat them as clients, and you don't tell, "Hey, I actually sold to so and so." You know, you don't you don't brag about it. You don't flex. Do, Does, do you think that is actually helping your business more? Yeah, because I don't see it as a business to a resale store. I don't look at it as a business because number one, we still come back to the idea that we love what we still enjoy the stuff that we have. Do mm. you get what I mean? I, I we love the product, and mm. the end of the day is. The monetary thing is always a plus point because I see it. Mm. I see the shoes earlier, like certain shoes I've bought because I enjoyed it. Now it's times ten the price, yeah. mm. times eight the price. Of course, it's a good trade value to stuff that we want. But I'm just trying to be the dot sometimes of the stuff that I get and stuff that I pass around. But mm. until today, I'm still a collector, you know. Yeah, kita kita tak pernah minta orang shout out bila kita jual. Mungkin when they buy I something. I bukan minta orang shout out. I minta, I cakap you shout out pasal uh, your clients. You know? Because the thing is also, I think make curate ni sebab kita start sebab kita suka benda ni. Tapi it's a passion project. Uh, when we had the first chat, right? Ah, uh, it's literally, dude. You know the idea, the main idea, right? Why yeah. we started it off is because the stuff that I get access to, I actually want to expose to Malaysians. Mm. And in Malaysia, that we get access to this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. You get what I mean? Okay, can, can you tell me what is the craziest mid curate story, in terms of a shoe, in terms of a client, in terms of like? I would say one of the craziest ones that we can say happened in 2019 when we gave away 250k <laughs> worth of sneakers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of crazy. That's, really crazy. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know, they did a giveaway during Snickla 2019. Never again! Y'all, um, y'all miss your boat! <laughs> maybe y'all should name that 10 pairs that you gave out. I can't even ca- remember. Ca- Canary Dunks. Yeah, uh, Mags. The Air Mags. Undefeated. Uh-huh. Undefeated Force. Uh, Carhartt Car Force. There was a Sakai. Uh, Yeezy Static. Yeah, Yeezy Static. The, the Dior Oblique. Dior Oblique. Ooh. And then that... Uh, fuck, people still wear Dior Obliques 2020. Travis Scott. I would. Jordan 1. Travis Scott, Jordan 1. Hi. And then we had a couple more, right? No, it was only 10. But I can't remember yeah, what I can't else. The other two, I can't remember. Did we have a CPFM? We didn't. Yes, we did. We, we did. did. Oh, you, you got it. Okay. How, how hard was it to securing those uh, Not hard. Undef- undefeated fours and the uh, Carhartt fours? Not hard, dude. I think I, I, I'm, I'm being really honest with you. There are pairs out there. I, I'm not going to act like... Yeah. It was the toughest thing to do in the world. <laughs> I think the fact that... I think the fact we did the giveaway was because we could get the sneakers. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this this way, right? The rarest shoes that we have will never touch Instagram or public. Mm. And I can bet you some of the shoes nobody has seen Damn. at that level. So let me just put it down the table. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Fuck off, man. Oh. Oh, there you go. Ah. I'll fix it for that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the wrong tune in here. <laughs> yeah. So that, I will tell you that are the rare stuff. You cannot tell a story why it's rare? Because that model for that particular collab doesn't even exist. One of that Nana. That's, that's, that's an example of a one of Nana. You so know? If you walk down Can you like spill some tea here? I mean, give us some specifics. I leave it all to him, man. 
Let's go, how man. How do I? How do okay? Let me let me put this. Aku way. marketing. Aku. Kau kasi aku so benda aku mai tahu. Hey, aku podcast, marketing. Oh. Podcast gonna tuang right. tuang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me uh, let me let me okay. Let me put the show. So this is the hot take, bro. Aku imagine ke- imagine the the teaser for the uh. the podcast will be this portion. You know. Alright. Okay. Kau, ya, the, hot, bayang, the hot take. Kau bayangkan marketing kalau tak dapat approval dari tak perlu approval dari the kepala semua ha, semua dia. Semua dah, okay. Oh, let me let me put out a simple one, right? Okay. How many colors of Jordan 4 cores have you seen? Two. Okay, there's more. I'll leave it at that. Damn. Right. Can you specify how many? No, I, I don't think. We, uh, I, I don't. I don't think there's also a way to t- to know exactly. Mm. There's no, there's no way to know exactly. You know. Yeah. So, but I do have that in hand. Not like have no. I'm 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 just I'm just I'm just curious. Like, would you get in trouble for telling stories like this? Yeah. Yeah. So look, the, yeah, would yeah. this really jeopardize everything? Yes, there are a lot of people that would like. I. That, that's the reason why, when it comes to shoes like this or whatever, you must shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up is one thing, but when I reach out to people as well, I I always reach out if I do have a trade or do yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want it to go to someone who would appreciate the product and not just put it on the gram and go, yeah, yeah. Man, this is crazy, bro. This is like this fire. Yeah, this fire broke. Imagine. Bet you don't have these. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the famous caption, right? Bet you don't have these. Like, it never mattered to us to prove a point to everybody else. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, right? You forget, right? You're spending money on the product. I don't care what you think or you think. Like end of the day, it's me loving the product yeah. and how much I value the product. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and that's where I find similar people who do that, and I reach out. I guess in this industry, discretion is very important. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because everyone reveals too much. Yeah, in, in the, the world in the social media, in the world of social media, where some orang can let out some benda on social media, sometimes going to snap, snap, but relax. Okay, it means a lot. A little bit of silence means a lot. Okay, if let's say. You as the founder of Make Curate, you're two, okay, and you are the president of Sneakers Apa Association itu? Malaysia. Itu Joe Frizo. Eh, kan Joe Frizo lain. Eh, ni association yang betul wujud tu. <laughs> belum, 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 belum. Sneakers uh, okay. Association so, so of im- Malaysia. So imagine, Sa-om. imagine, right? We were talking about like FOMO. You right. know, everyone wants to buy the same pair of shoes to fit in. Blah blah blah. Okay, how would you? What would you do? To change that, to do change the you, you idea know, of how people purchase items. Not not just about purchase. Okay, you're you're talking to me about like being really passionate about shoes. You know, like looking at a gr and look and saying like, okay, that's fire. You know, looking at something for its real value instead of what is the perceived value. You get what I mean? And uh, how do you actually educate people to be like that? All right. Look. The education part. Food. Today's podcast heavy, yeah. It's very heavy, dude. Aku tengah, aku tengah nak cari selit tenje nak aku cakap cerita. Okay, actually, hold, hold, it, hold, it. hold it, hold it, hold it, or we want to hold it, hold it. Huh. We, 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 huh, we right. need to talk to uh, Ice Cube here. Oh. <laughs> actually, do you want to go? Huh? I'm just gonna walk out this podcast. <laughs> Bro, no, 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 no. you you can give me a, guess the any pair of shoe. I will fucking reject it because I want to call you Ice Cube for the rest of my life. Until he finds someone else that you kind of look, <laughs> look like lah. Save that his name on his phone too. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's really Paul Xavier. Really? Yeah, for real, for real. Can I just have a look? You want to bet? <laughs> yeah, I, no, I don't want to bet, but I just want to have a look. Let me show you. Okay. I just have to just clarify this one second. Oh, for real, for real. Bugger, you really don't believe me, yeah? Imagine how much you. Paul do. Bernard Xavier, bro. Full name. You know what's the funniest part? Uh, you, phone you, that is your freaking WhatsApp number for yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, you know what's, uh, what's really funny I was telling Paul the whole time I don't have his phone number huh he does have a phone number I don't you, tell you, you talking about no I don't you don't have a Malaysian number right? I don't have your new Malaysian number yeah you don't yeah I oh. got it like a week ago okay I don't have your Malaysian number yeah either. but I'm his business partner and close friend you know it's like it doesn't make it's sense okay, you were busy in Korea you know <laughs> buying Chrome Heart and <laughs> he calls me on Facebook Messenger every day. you call me on Facebook Messenger Actually, too don't make, it, yeah. don't make it sound like my problem okay? sometimes sometimes I FaceTime him on Instagram okay like a media influencer <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just, to, just, to, just to keep it spicy he'll use, he'll use FaceTime instead oh. <laughs> just to keep it spicy <laughs> okay okay so what's up with hey, David okay co- yeah. uh, conversation uh, 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 uh. right I think if I were to educate somebody 
on the sneaker part, right? It really comes down to it's so right now it's super tough because there's such a big economy behind it. Yeah. So it's very hard to love a product for all the corporates are behind it, right? But corporates are behind it, and also there's a whole big economy, right? The machine. See, right? If I was to be a sneakerhead today, like just starting to buy sneakers now, I would not. I can't disregard the fact that I'll be the same because of how much money is involved. Because dude, if I got this Travis fragments for retail, right? and i could get 6 grand ringgit for it do you think i wouldn't consider selling them 6 grand ringgit could last me a month and half, maybe even two months yeah like, out like just pretty life changing lah for pretty life changing yeah. like, like i'm i'm just being real because back mm. then or like maybe even let's not go far right bro you sell the shoe straight away can buy motor bro I, see that's my point right for real like straight up motor di so it's so hard not to be blinded by value now mm. to me but now the market right up and down up and down up and down right she sneaker mm. market is now going on like a decline for a bit right yep so to me all i have to say is right when you, buying product can be very addictive because like impulse buying right mm. so value buy 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 but always find your taste in stuff dude. i feel like start asking you said do you really enjoy wearing this stuff <laughs> because it gets to the point where you like like just gazillion stuff and you're just like actually I like these two shoes <laughs> you, you pick from the bunch right yeah. like you know like as simple as what I can tell you right people who stack boxes mm. they put the most hated pair at the bottom because they're stacking the nicer pairs on top mm. even in clothes you can see that in your house like you would pick certain shoes that you really like and certain shoes that's just there for there to be honest for me it's more of like <coughs> The shoes, like for example, I'm I'm collecting a lot of Converse's, mm. and they are just there. I don't really wear them, but I just like buying them. And I throughout the years, I realized that my taste has shifted, evolved, yeah, right to Converse. Um, New Balance used to be quite a lot in my, but because of the recent hype, I have like let go some pairs. I don't know. I'm a bit anti hype, mm. so yeah. So I I realized it's Jalite trees. Kayanos, you know, Asics and Converse's. These two, these two things, and um, superstars. Mm. So it's it's weird. O- over the years, I've you know re- reduced. I used to be everything. I used to be a whore. All the brands hantam. But now it's like, you know, when I go on Carousel, if I'm like, you know, searching or what to buy on marketplace, this is what I'm looking for. This few right, pairs. Right. Yeah. So so I do understand what you just said in terms of. You know what do you really like? Yeah. So I think I, what I like is something easy to get. Yeah. Something fire on feet. Yep. And cheap. Yep. Cause I'm Malaysian. Tak, kau ada priority lain. Kau faham. But but I I see you have to you have to find that what you really like. And sometimes right you like I feel that you don't have to like what someone else is like. Yeah. You do really don't have to. And sometimes, like he has some Jeremy Scott shoes, right? That mm. I may not see. Be like, fuck, what, is, what, what are those, right? Some part you got a diss about him doing. Nah, but this Jeremy Scott. So late, yeah. Mm. Which which Jeremy Scott do you have? Yeah, this guy has a wild Jeremy Scott dude. No, no, cross slipper. No, you have like the crazy. I have a lot of Kevin Frost. Kevin Frost. Oh, okay, Kevin ah. Frost. Those I are pretty crazy, right? Eh? Mm. That's crazy. Hey, but I don't know where they are. But to be honest, it's quite cool to collect them because right. this guy has put so much thought into creating something exactly. like that, right? So yeah, I, mean, I I see it, I see it. Yeah. So retail di mahal gila babi. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cuts off one part of your checklist, the cheap. Mm. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no, it's cheap now because it's on sale. Right. Is it? I I think so. The forum yang mulut tu. That forum not. That the, the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Retail yeah. was a thousand ringgit. Yeah. I That's was insane. like, I called at most when I saw them promoted. I called them on the phone and I was like, Hey, do you guys have it? Can you hold it in the store? I'm gonna go pick it up. Went there. Well, and only then when I found out the price, there. <laughs> and I was like, ah like, oh, shit! Just like I said in the last podcast, should I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Malu eh, tak beli. Malu eh, tak beli. <laughs> dah suruh dah, orang dah reserve eh. Dah, dah kerja kezu. lagi sana lagi. Debit card dah keluar dah. Like, uh. Should I do it? <laughs> Dia orang, uh, tapi kau book. We. Kita dah hold note kau uh, Tapi tak ada orang beli juga Hans, tu. And then The problem is because they also, Some of the staff They know me right? Of masuk, course masuk, masuk, Hans Pair kau kita dah simpan Alamak Shit Pair kau kita dah simpan You know what I'll do I'll say hey, uh, Aku pergi makan dulu Nanti aku balik Lepas tu tak balik Oh 
You do the magician You do the Houdini yeah. So all the brands out there Brian doing Jangan kasih dia pergi makan <laughs> Jangan kasih dia yeah. pergi makan Jangan kasih dia pergi makan Aku balas nak bawa Aku nak pergi makan lu Okay You just put it behind there I'll, I'll, I'll Nanti aku datang Nanti aku datang You do that thing Where you put the blanket and food I'll come bit. back <laughs> I will come back next year When it's on 50% off yeah. Remember that pair <laughs> I want to buy it now Kau simpan lagi Sorry brands yeah. don't, 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 <laughs> don't kill me <laughs> Don't kill me But yeah uh, That's a That's a pretty good, Interesting answer Yeah mm. I just think that You just have to like Buy whatever mm. you feel That is worth it for you Because at the end of the day Trends come and go mm. Like but what you say Is so true man The value of things Is so It's always in your face You know Like, it is, bro. It right? is. It's oh, unavoidable. Hey, you wear this shoe, ah, bro. You can sell it for how much, how much, how much, you know? Yeah. But you know, it's people are crazy, like, last time eh? I tell you, right? Oh, they hate resellers. They hate this. They hate that. But this money, right? It's life-changing money for people, man. How can you take that away when there's something of value? Let's say you have a house, right? It works in every sector. Yeah. But when it comes to sneakers, people get so salty about it. <laughs> I, I just never understand. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, if your house is now, you bought at 500,000, and it's 1 million. Hey, bro, don't sell your house, bro. Eh, hey, go to sellers, yeah. Ah, why, why are you selling your house, bro? <laughs> you know, bro, the house, bro, fuck, bro. Stay in the house, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You, you, you can't say that to somebody, right? Yeah. People are like, I'm going to sell this house and move on to a bigger house. Yeah. Right? True. So it's everything that has value, right? Sometimes it's whether how far you go. Because certain shoes I've held in my hand and then we reach a certain peak of value, I go like, this is never worth to me this much. I paid X amount of money for this shoe. Now it's five times, six times more. I don't see the value of the shoe at this much. So and what do you do? You sell it off or you keep it? If it's a shoe that I just paid resell and there's no emotional attachment or sentiment to it, I'd be like, I bought it just for the purely because of what the value was at then. Last mm. year, I was at $5,000 or $2,000 shoes. Okay, I buy it, right? Now it's at $5,000. I'm like, man, it's $5,000. bucks. So Maybe there's something else on my list that I could grab. Yeah, true, $5, true, bucks true. That I would appreciate more than this stuff. Mm. I let go, man. And I don't think that's a problem. I don't understand what is this part about the value that it's inevitable. If there's something that has economy, maybe one day the sneaker market crashes, right? You think it'll crash? That's possible. If they're pushing products like this, it's not that it's going to crash, but a product will be more like widely available than what it is five years ago. Yeah. You get what I mean? Not at the price that they are thinking of getting. Like today, yeah. if you want to buy a collab, you can still find a collab at retail. Think about it. You can find a collab. Doesn't matter what collab, but you can find collaboration. Yeah, like Union Cortez is sitting on yeah, on shelves. It's in Atmos now. Would you ever think a Actually, collab? I, I kind of think it's fire w- though. Would have sat on shelves five years ago. Nah. I don't think so. Any collab would have just sold out. Yeah. But now you have that. So I think over time, if you keep pushing products like that to people, how much money do you think people are going to spend a year on shoes, bro? A if lot. If like, six pairs, you want to do a release within three months, four months. You want to drop six pairs of collapse? That, so the, the availability, it's not really a problem, but the people who had very good economical value or it start changing their opinions. But I kind of like the idea of pushing so much products now because you can really feel what you feel on the product, <laughs> especially when it comes to the price. So there's now there's only 50 bucks above retail. Yeah, yeah. Like the tax is Jordan 1, it's right? It's great, yeah. You released that five years ago, people are paying... Double, triple, quadruple or what the price yeah, is now. Agreed. But now, because it's so widely available, people are still buying because the people who really like the shoe yeah, they'll buy it, get a chance to buy. Mm. So I feel like pushing the products now, it's not really a problem because for you and I, like, hey, gila kasut siya. but the guy who's not a sneakerhead sees that taxis on the shelf. Hey, that's a nice that's color. So cool yeah. Jordan 1, bro. That's an OG cut Jordan 1. Let me just buy it. So I personally think the way it's going now you can see people stays because now what? Uh, Jordan 2 Amamanyas. People are like, uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> But before the leak photos, fire, fire, leak mm. photos, fire. But when it comes out, not. Because why? The value holds a certain amount, right? Mm. So it's good for people who really like the shoes. But then again, the key element to all these chats, right, is trend will always come and go. Mm. If you don't love the product, you're going to regret a lot of purchases. Yeah. And you're going to lose a lot of money because you're just buying at the peak of things. Spend the money and buy it, but you don't love the product because after that, like now, people want to sell Pirate Blacks and all that, right? <laughs> but back then, they were like, 2,000 US more buy, buy, buy. <laughs> right? Trends coming up. A simple example is Ultra Boost, dude. Mm. I still, I, last year, I went on this spiral buying all collab Ultra Boost, 
all this ultra boost that is collab. You were buying last year? Yeah, because it was like during the Cheap. pandemic, it was like 200 US. Yeah. Like Hype beast ultra boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 250 US. I was like, man, I'm going to bloody buy it because this is like the perfect chance for me to buy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But then again, that trend left. And that trend comes and goes, right? So for me, if you keep buying just what you like, the trend will always come and go, but it's also going to be beneficial. Mm. Imagine the people who bought SBs back in the day because they loved SBs and kept it all these years. I didn't keep it. You didn't keep it at a yeah. certain point. And then you have people like online, like I could think of like Jan Abdullah, right? Mm, Singaporean kept, guy. Singaporean yeah. guy kept his Paris, kept his... He could have just sold back in the day. Yeah. And be like, yo, I want to cash out. He has a ton of staple, right? Yeah, he kept a few. I think he, he, Paris signed signed, yeah, as well, signed as well, right? Signed as well. So like stuff like that, you keep over time because you like. You probably could benefit from it from one point, but the end of the day, right? The reason why there's also resell mm. is because there's people within who really loves the product. So when the product becomes desired, yeah, yeah price will increase. Then, but also, right? So like three of us, right? We love a certain product. There's going to be people out there who love the product because you love the product. Influence, not because, yeah. yeah, you get influenced by certain person. Not because they really love the product, but because you actually like mm-hmm. the product. Exactly. Because sometimes, right, you go on this, all the podcasts or other shows, you see how much they talk about the shoe, suddenly you see the view that they see. True. Right? So there's a circle of people who enjoy the product and then there's a circle of people who are tried by the passion of these people. And then the value of resale becomes the value of resale. I, I guess it's storytelling. La, yes. Right? It's, it's, it's how Nike always market their shoes back yeah. then. Yep. Not now. You Not know, now. But back then, it's always about a story, about where this shoe comes from, why, why it's this colorway. You know, uh, he was sick and then he played in this shoe and he, he won the game and wow, your emotional attachment to it, right? So I guess that's storytelling, you know. So, yeah. but... We don't see it nowadays. It's all about who was wearing what. What's yeah. the resale value? Yeah. So it's and that thing doesn't last. See, that thing doesn't last because that's not a memory. Mm, agree. It's not a significant memory. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like what I like the recent collab that actually really worked out well. You're looking at Sean Witherspoon MX 197. Mm-hmm. He walked you through creating the shoe with you. Yeah, yeah. You feel now watching the whole thing. You are part of the process yeah. of the shoe. And he's got he got the community to be together in that process as well. Exactly. Ben Baller, a few other people, right? Friend so relations. How genuine that stuff yeah. is. Friend relations was involved, right? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was. So Friend like relations. you're looking at people that are involved in a particular product mm. and then you feed off that. Yeah. So you're like, man, I love this idea, how the idea came about. How this came about, how that came about. So then that came into the product, and then you're like, when it came out, it was crazy because yeah. you're like, yo, I want to pay. Because why? Everybody was part of this process yeah. of getting to the end product of the shoe. He was smart using the community. Yes. And yeah. all the community supported him. Yep. They, they went and voted for him. So yeah, that's that's actually smart. But uh, what do you think about Sean Woodspoon now? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I think his latest Hot Wheels, that's fire, bro. I mean, the overall collection. He did well. I mean, you I know, mean he's got a Vespa. He's got a... Porsche, he's got a... He's, he did uh, well. Yeah, he did well for himself. Ah. Uh, I would say that. Oh, okay. Mm. But then when you get spiked with a brand, you go to a competitor, you just try to push what, for Whatever that. happened to his shop? Huh? He's still around, right? He's still around, he's still around. But I don't think he's really part of it anymore, right? Yeah. I don't see him like... Yeah, he really bought a... He like rented a place in Japan now, I saw. Yeah, he's doing his own thing. Yeah. So yeah. I think like... Short of w- wood spoon designs or something like that. Yeah, I think he's got his own... I mean, he moved into another career path with all this collabs and he's taking different levels of tier of stuff. But yeah, but I think then there comes this commercialization, right? Even like Joe Fresh Goods. Oh. The first New Balance, right? Still okay. I love him. I, I, he, I, trust me, like if there's somebody who wants to do storytelling, it's, he's, he's still okay. It's Joe Fresh Goods. Yeah, he's still good. And I think single-handedly, Joe Fresh Goods doing ads for New Balance and where he pushed products for New Balance I think that's how a collab should do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. the release is all over the place because some people lined up and never got yeah, it. Yeah. part of the game. But product-wise, I think it's still very important because I think now, right, we're just congested with releases. Oh, yeah, man. There is no time for you to process the story and enjoy the story before you get the product. Everything leaks early, <laughs> right? Everything gets pushed to you 
And then if you miss this collab, the next one comes just right after. And the one right after two months. So a year, mm. you are not waiting for anything. Mm. Your mind is ready f- like a calendar. Then you're just working towards a calendar. Okay, dah. Okay, dah dapat. Next, 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 next. So, I don't know how to answer your question to educate somebody. Because <laughs> right now, <laughs> I, I think educating somebody is a whether the choice, how much effort you want to put. It's really like finding your your joy in the product. But end of the day, I always tell people, mm. you're already spending your heart and money on it, right? Make sure you love it. Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. Mm. Right, make sure you love the product. So I think that just finding that, how much do you actually like it? So uh, I'm not going to tease or leak any pictures, but be prepared for December. Yeah, yay! Yeah, and so it's going to be a storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Snickers yeah. is going to do a storytelling yes, in their product. Yes, yes. I really hope. Uh, I think that's that's one thing we. Okay, maybe because I'm slightly of an older age that I like the storytelling aspect of it. Yeah. And uh, telling Malaysian stories. Yeah. 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 So because we have so many good stories and something to be proud of. A lot, mm. actually, a lot. So we also have very shitty stories. Yeah. But let's listen to Han's story. He says yeah, he's got we have, something. We, we left in the Korea, so we leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I back to Korea. I kind of miss the 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 window to jump in, lah. So now, no, now I give you the window. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the 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 topic go deep, serious, and all that. And suddenly I don't know how to bring it back. The the mood the mood is kind of laggy <laughs> right now. But then uh, it's like I wanted to make a joke, but I don't think it's appropriate time to yeah, make a joke. Yeah, everything everything went deep for a while, so <laughs> it's just like. Hey, he uh, asked me deep questions though. No, no, no. That's the whole point. Like, how often no, we, yeah, do we yeah, go no, deep into why, a sneaker topic? You know, always. Right, right, right. That's why we. That's why we let it happen. This yeah, why. Yeah, this yeah. why we have guests. You know, that's why I didn't do. But then, no, it's it's a very simple thing. Uh, basically, when I went to Korea, I was with Gambo. Mm. Uh, shout out Gambo Park Juyal. Uh, that's the <laughs> name Park Juyal. Uh, so. We went to Tom Sachs' punya exhibition, Ooh. and uh, the really short thing is Gambo got you a hat. That's just it. Uh, so wow! Uh, what the fuck? Gambo got you a hat from the exhibit. That's Thanks, it. Gambo. Yeah. So yeah, uh-huh. I didn't know how to ch- chime this in with all the story. Eh? Damn, bro. <laughs> So I don't know uh, if you can wear it, but if you if you do notice, you, do you now regret not letting him cut in early because you could have gotten his the, the No, fast, no, this the is actually perfect timing. Look at the fastening system at the back; it's a tali. You want to show? Damn, bro! I don't know whether it fits your head, but yeah. then uh, I wish I had one. But Machi, but he has guy. he has one. He, had, he even has the t-shirt, bro. <laughs> my guy, my guy here got me that too. Rocket Factory. I think this is damn fire, dude. If it's a bit tight, I'm pretty sure you can. It is. U- it is tight. Ubahkan the tali. I'm not sure how it how, how system ubah, works. Bro. I don't know. Yeah, Just lose some weight, dude. Then mm. you can fit it in. How do you lose weight on the head? You tell me. No, when you lose weight, it gets smaller, dude. I've I've actually done it for some. Sh- bro, my, my I used to be seventy nine kilos before my wedding, and my his head was still the same. Cap size is the same. This dude is just a bobble head, bro. Bro, my my head when I wear new era fitted caps ah, uh, yeah. the size is seven seven eight. Dude. I can fit eight also. That's crack, dude. but that's fire. Dude. Yeah, but look at the, looking at the cutting is very similar to what you would wear. You know, yeah. it's a flat brim. Yeah, but you like to wear. Shout the out Gambo Park. You the you my favorite Korean, bro. How you my favorite you? Korean. You cannot. Nikola, I know many Nikola, Koreans Nikola, now. Nikola, no, no, Korean. I know many Koreans now, yeah. but Gambo Park definitely. You made it to the top of the list. <laughs> like oh, he's that. always been actually right. He's not really Korean, lah. He spent 21 years in Malaysia. The bugger is Malaysian, man. He spent 21 years in Malaysia and he's 28. He can speak Malay. Okay. He can speak Malay. He really, really can speak Malay. And I've he never loves really speak Malay to me, though. And he loves Malay food and yeah, Chinese yeah, yeah. food and Malaysian food. I know, I, I, I food, I know yeah. he loves Malay food because one day he like told me after Snickala, right? He's like, Mama. I was like, Ooh. That, that's it. Crazy, the funny bro. part is he spent 21 years in Malaysia. He's 28. That means he's only spent. When he went to Korea, he couldn't speak Korean. Yeah. When he went to Korea, he couldn't speak Korean, and then after after a while, he couldn't speak years. Malay and English, and now he can't speak both. Dude, like twenty one years, right? It'd be considered like me too, right? Because after twenty one years, you go and study overseas, right? And you still live there for like five, six years. Yes. So it's literally, honestly, like he's relearning everything, it's like bro. Malaysian, yeah. Like he's mm. he's Malaysian. He's Malaysian, bro. So that's why it'd be good if we can get him back here. Yeah. Shout out Gumbo. Shout out, shout out Gumbo. Gumbo. We'll see come how. Back, come back you know, you know what the, you know what the Koreans call Gambo over there? Oh. Prince of Malaysia. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, because they're like, oh, they're so amazed that everyone in Malaysia knows him. So they call him Malaysian Prince. 
I mean, but, but he lives here. Though. Yeah, he lives here. Yeah, no, but it's so amazed because he's such a he's now a pretty known figure in the Korean sneaker scene. Oh shucks! So it's kind of hilarious that it's like oh this you know it's like oh in Malaysia everyone knows who Gambo is and they're like oh that that's that's yeah, fascinating. But, yeah. I think but he's like, one of the nicest guy I know yeah, Come on, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, dude. So nice. So that's a nice guy. He was so, like my manager in Korea. He was like, okay, Hans, okay, today at three o'clock you have this, four o'clock you have this, four thirty, you have this. Maybe five fifteen we have time to squeeze in one thing if you want to do. But then at six o'clock we have another thing. Okay, it's right organized. before we go. Yeah, right, right, right. Why don't you tell us your experience about this? This exhibition. I know oh, you yeah. have a video coming up. Oh no! Uh, you have a video coming up. Yeah, for yeah. The uh, but the, just, what, the just for the listeners, Tom like Sachs? the Tom Sachs, like yeah. You uh, know, you went, you went. Yeah, one of the did. highlights was that, right? Mm. Going all the way to Korea for that. So Korea. I wish I could give more optimistic reviews. Oh right. shit! But then it was kind of oh, like wow. okay. So there were three art exhibits total. Okay. Uh, I only went to two because I felt like one of them I didn't really feel like going to. <laughs> so one of them was in this place called a uh, Hybe Interactive. Okay. So the thing about it's a uh, Hybe Interactive is like this museum kind of thing, and one of the halls is well, uh, Tom Sachs took one of the halls. Right. So if you are into uh, Korean pop music, right, you will instantly hear the name Hybe Interactive and go, "Oh, that's BTS for your company." Oh. So. In order to go see the Tom Sachs thing, you have to go through the entire BTS museum. Yes. Oh wow! So it's five rooms, okay? And the so it's what like a museum on BTS? Yeah. Wait, so you go to uh. the Tom Sachs exhibit. Yeah. You have, you have to pass to go, by BTS. You have to go through yeah. the BTS. No, you don't really have to. You don't really have to. But then the there's two tickets. One you go through the whole museum. Another, I think you go straight to this one. Okay. But then the price difference was so like. Close, purposely, yeah. Yeah, it makes. Oh, but no, you, you are, you're, you're a K-pop fan. So no, at, no, at that point, no it was, brainer. it was legitimately only like I think like fifteen ringgit, ringgit, uh, ringgit difference. difference. What to go to the whole museum or to go to only one hall? You know that fuck it. You know I'll, I'll go to the whole museum. It's only five ringgit difference. You know, so I went to the whole thing. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of BTS. Whoa. Yeah, but. I'm not the biggest fan of BTS. Tapi, I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> really now? No, 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 no. Ice Cube? <laughs> like I said, okay. Like I said, ada lima bilik tau. The Tom Sachs on the fourth room. So, in order, to, there is a movie playing in the second room. Like a very short clip. Maybe about, I don't know. Uh, I, it's not very short. I was about to say it's very short. They just, I just uh, the moral of the story is <laughs> not very short. Actually, it was really long. Uh, yeah, so, in order for you to go into the second room, you have to wait for the movie to finish and then the people in the first room can go into the second room. It was a half an hour it's wait. Like an exhibition room. What? Yeah. Going out, okay, yeah, okay, it was okay. a half an hour wait. And so then that, I guess that really It like was half an hour of you just waiting. Energy level drop. No, uh. Bro. That's the 15 ringgit. It's a huge <laughs> ass room. That, There's a huge ass room with like 10 screens all playing <laughs> BTS. Oh. It's brainwashed, bro. It's gonna brainwash you, bro. I was like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. You know, me and, me and Gumbo was like, this is the worst thing ever. And then we got to if the- If it was Blackpink, it's okay lah, right? Even Blackpink is too much lah. So it's half an hour. You can't just fo- shove something down my throat. Like, <laughs> immediately Girls' say generation, no, bro. Girls' generation. G, 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 G. I got a cookie from yeah. this guy. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, what do you call that? The Tom Sachs exhibit itself was not worth it. What? Maybe, no, for this one. For this, for that one. Kalau kau jenis art berat gila babi. Okay, um, tak okay. You might find some enjoyment in his story. <laughs> art berat, Ziel. Art berat. Because the thing is, okay. Apa yang art berat pasal okay, exhibition ni? This one is basically he took random items and made them look like uh, boom boxes, like jukeboxes. Oh. So ada speaker semua. So he'll take a piece of wood, letak make it square, letak dua speaker, letak gambut, and he calls it Sally. And I'm just like, what does this mean? Whoa. There's no explanation. There's no... Why did why is this? Why can't I put up any speaker near the top? It's not very though. Tom Sachs, lah, right? No, it's very because Tom, Tom Sachs has always I guess it's some Tom sort Sachs. of uh, explanation or like a no, mind it's like, process. Oh, you have to interpret it. yourself. You know, it's like wow. you know, it's like it's very self. Apa kamu ni? It's like I don't like artists. I'll just say that. Oh really? I don't really like most artists, especially when I'm dumb. Okay, <laughs> please. I don't know, bro. I don't know where is this going. Okay, so you don't like artists. Yeah, no, I I don't like no, I don't like I I don't like most artists because I'm dumb. Okay, you have to explain to me your artwork. Uh, you know, okay, okay. You, you like to, art to be a bit more literal, uh. I, I I like it to be a little bit more literal because okay, if not, okay, it's okay, just okay, more okay. like man, I don't understand what you're trying so, to tell me. So bro. you you after flying all the way there and you mm. like when it's the you're second like, one. Uh, the, the second uh, one I went to was at an actual art museum. 
Oh, okay. Was an actual art museum and that was at Art Sonje, which is what, four, four floors of just his actual, like, memang, you know, memang his so artwork. So there was two there different, was three. 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 Yeah. Apparently there was three, yeah. Yeah, so the Art Sonje one was the main one. Okay. This is the one, this is really the rocket exhibit. Lah. This oh, one you had okay, the okay. Tom Sachs tea ceremony. Everything you see in his New York punya. It's there. Lah. To, is in there. Right. Okay. And that one I can gel with because I already know the storyline of that. Right? You already know that one is all his famous artworks. You know, we have the, what, the leather face with the chainsaw and the, mm, you know, that mm, kind of thing. Mm. You you have a lot of weird Nike stuff. You know, it's like. Wow, okay. As in, right. like, there'll be this. Now space, I can't wait for your video. There'll be this spacesuit. And then there's a space suit and then the, the space the, the spaceman is wearing these weird rubber clogs. But then you look closely, the rubber clogs has a Nike swoosh on it. You're like, wow. the Nike swoosh, yeah? You know? It's a Nike craft part. Yeah. Nike la, you know? Yeah, so stuff like that, it's like, okay, that's kind of th- that's kind of cool. But then all in all, would it be worth it to go to the t- Korea just for the exhibit? I don't think so. Really? You know, wait, I heard they cancelled the third one, right? The, they closed it earlier than they should they have. They didn't even announce it. Uh, why, yeah? Because of know. floods or what? I don't know. So the thing is, uh, each one... Yeah, like imagine yeah. people traveling there. Each one kind of had their own merch. This one was the BTS punya factory. Oh, oh, oh. So the thing is, that's why it's a bit small, I think. It's Asian sizing. Uh, got a line on my head now. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Harry Potter. <laughs> so... Uh, it was like those Sami, dude. Mm. The, what do you call that? The one at the art museum, the actual one. <laughs> that one is the actual merch. The, at the BTS museum one, it's kind of license, licensing. The BTS fact, oh. peop, uh, to the hype punya people hype m- took uh, was allowed to use Tom Sachs punya logos to make the to, to make the merch. Stop looking at my head, <laughs> lah, bastard. <laughs> was allowed to make the merch. <laughs> you just can't unsee it. You can't take it. I am ignoring it pretty well to go along with my story. Okay, this is a podcast. Hey, he's fucking telling us his story, bro. Listen, lah, bro. I'm, I'm listening to it, my man. <laughs> Stop staring at my head, bro. But okay lah, Ice Cube can look at my head. Uh, <laughs> Ice Cube looking at the bowling ball. La. <laughs> Anyways, yes, yes, yes. Licensing, and then the main one is at the second one. No, basically I was telling you the story of your head. La. I don't know what you heard or not. La. I heard, I heard. Ah, so I, the head, this is like a licensing. This one is the... uh, not actually by Tom Sachs. Fuck lah, now. But, uh. but thanks, Gabo. No, this one. Gabo dropped the yeah. second Korean news. Yeah. <laughs> this one is by the to the the museum. The, sorry, the BTS company. Yeah. WHR Institute. Yeah, the actual merch, the one that you see worldwide and all that. Mm. That one is what was at the Art Sonje, the art museum. That one sold out already, really fast. Mm. But then thanks to Gambo, we managed to get one T-shirt. The display one. Uh, it helps to have someone who knows how to speak Korean. Uh. So, but that was the only thing we could get from the merch thing. So uh. you felt a bit underwhelmed, like flew all the way there. Uh, not really I what g- you were expect, expecting. The thing is, Tom Sachs is very cultish. Yeah. The way he works, he's very, relig- very, his artwork is bordering on religion now, as in like, it's religious now, as in the memang very cult, like, you know, you, it's a movement, you have to understand us, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I wasn't part of his cult, like, I think. <laughs> Maybe if I was, it'd be easier to... Maybe you should have ah. sat there in the half an hour, the room, and then mm. it's all Tom Sex on here, then probably... Oh, it was good for photos, though. True lah. It was good for photos, though. But we weren't allowed to take photos in the BTS museum, by the way. Oh, why? Because I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like you have a lot of time then they let you do it. Uh, no, literally <laughs> when you half go... Half an hour, like, just... Like, you're not even... It's not like they are there. No, when you go into the BTS museum, the hilarious part is after that half an hour room, you go into the second room where they play that short video and then when the when you go into the which third room after, yeah, which wasn't short then after you go into the third room after that they're like okay you have 45 minutes to go through the whole the rest of the building the heck like, what the fuck? so the very end was the merch shop and I was like this is how they get you you go to hell right so that's, you just make it worth it that's when you spend la. La. you're like fuck I it I is a scam in all in all so that's why I never go wow. to wow the flights to Korea are very cheap now. Really? Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm hey, thinking about. A lot of Malaysians are going to Korea. Though. Yeah. But, actually, but one thing I'm going to hit you with, like, I think Korea in the two years that they never had tourists, I think they forgot how to have tourists, bro. Why are they rude? Uh? No, it's just like all the signboards suddenly in all in Korean. It's all the world in Korean, right? No, there was the English also. Like the main mall, the Hyundai mall, which is their biggest mall, right? Mm. One of their biggest malls, everything was in Korean. The, 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 the floor directly, directly was in Korean. You know, so everything was in Korean. Aku masa aku nak fly out kan. We had the 
apa foreign passport area mm. foreign passport we, we, all, in Korean. we were all lined up in the foreign passports the staff there was were, were shouting instructions to us in Korean <laughs> this is a foreign passport area <laughs> would you think any of the foreign passport people can, people can speak Korean is it? maybe you watch K-pop drama you know lah How do they assume that we know? Yeah, I know. I But think they assume. Uh. They assume, uh, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm actually planning a trip to Korea. So hey, I'll let's go in October. Nice. They have a sneaker event. Oh, really? Uh, Tech, House, Tech House is doing an event in I October. I hope it's early October. Early? Ah. Let's go. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's been one hour, 40 minutes. That's long, man. It didn't feel very long, right? Did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Right, guy. Thank you, Ice Cube. If uh, if any of you want to follow Ice Cube here, his uh, handle IG handle is PBX yep. underscore 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 nine underscore huh? nine underscore yeah. So follow him on IG. It's private, right? It's not. It's not. It's okay. It's not private. It, once in a while, he will post about some crazier shoes. So do follow him, and uh, follow Mid Curate yeah. at Mid Curate. Uh, Hans Hans Abdullah. Follow Boyan Botak Chin at Boyan Botak Chin. Just follow Snickala lah. And follow Snickala. <laughs> Just follow Snickala for <laughs> further updates yeah. on your storytelling. Yes. Yeah. Coming in December. But uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all. I hope the conversation was not too heavy for you guys and yeah. very enlightening about sneakers. And uh, look forward to Hans 10 episode on his Korean trip. Oh yes. Look forward to I don't know when it's going to come out but look forward to <laughs> 10 episode of 30 minutes in the BTS room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, ciao. Take care. Bye. Damn, bro. That that flew by fast. Man.